So now our patient is ready. We have cleaned this area with plenty of alcohol solution. Um, so the landmark is uh, radial steloid. So I'm just drawing up radial steloid for you. It's somewhere here. Base of thumb is somewhere there. Now, if you want to feel the tendon, uh, you ask the patient to do the thumbs up. And as he does the thumbs up, you can see there's the tendon here become prominent. And these are the tendons that we will be injecting. Now, just distal to the steloid is our extensor retinaculum. Now, our aim is that we will be injecting just in the synovial sheath of first compartment. So I have uh, taken uh, 40 milligram of dipomedrone with uh, 2 mils of 1% uh, lignocaine. Now if you are doing it under ultrasound guided, you can uh, probably use less volume. Uh, because we are doing it blind, I would like it to spread uh, so that it covers my area of interest. Now our starting point is probably just distal to the radial steloid. So radial steloid, I've drawn it slightly distal. <clears throat> so just stay distal and be perpendicular, horizontal. You don't want to be going um, perpendicularly, perpendicularly because then you will be going into the tendon. Always aspirate and then slowly just, you can see that it will start to swell up. So just be very, very gentle. Just be very, very gentle. And if you want to be sure that you're not within the tendon is that you can take away the needle and you can ask the patient to move the thumb. And what it will do is if it is in the tendon, it will start moving. On this occasion, we are safe. So I'm just going to inject 3 mil and then with a swap I'm just going to redistribute it and that is how you inject a decurvin tenosynovitis.